What's on our list? Man, listen. We got a couple topics. Talk to me. You want to dive Talk into to the best or worst money you ever spent? Talk about capitalism. Talk mm-hmm. about capitalism. That's fun. Look at that. Brilliant segue. All right, because I didn't want to do this one. I was hoping you would have picked the other two. I shouldn't have opened with it. But <laughs> you want to do this one? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, by best and worst money ever spent, I think there's some quality products out there that, you know, I'll spend cash on that I keep thinking to myself, wow, this was a quality purchase. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a quality purchase. And I wanted to get what that might be for you. And also the worst purchase that you've made. The best purchase I've made is right here. Just this guy. Right now. There you go. It was like 60 bucks on Amazon. Little turntable. I bought this mug like, I think even right before COVID started. Just as like, you know, something to kind of do at the crib. Way before that. While I was watching, while I was watching basketball. Not way before. I only had it for like a little over a year now. But, um, but yeah, man, I, I copped it just to like, you know, I, I've been doing the work of downloading all my music to a hard drive so that I don't like, because mm. Google Music just recently closed. That's some other shit I want to get into. I'm hot about that. I want to get flared up, but I'm, yes. almost, I'm upset. I'm upset. They're doing a terrible job. But that crash... What actually is happening? This trash. But, mm. um, so I I uh, just downloaded all the music to my hard drive, right? Um, and having it organized that way means that I can spin records if I get a little turntable thing. So, I've got this thing and it has been, you know, a journey to like, you know, just listening to music differently, understanding like just rather than just listening to regular songs the way that you normally would thinking about and like even building a playlist, right? Extending that to beats per minute, right? Like what's the BPM of each of these songs and like just relating to music in a different way as somebody who loves music, right? Like this thing has been, um, it's been really dope. And it was like 60 bucks yeah. on this thing every day. So. All right, I see you shying away from the worst money you ever spent. So I'm going to dive on in and tell you the best money. I think the best money I spent is some of any, my, my, my MacBook or any laptop I've had from Apple. And these AirPods, bro, I think these AirPods might be just up there on the best purchases I've ever made. They've literally changed, maybe even almost to an extent, like they're too, they work too well. They've changed the way I interact with music, calls, my day. Like, I don't leave home without my pods. And they're still kicking. I bought them over a year ago. They're still kicking. I work out with them every day, sleep with them. It's, they're, they're, they're strong. If I'd known this dude was going to turn this into an ad about Apple, I would have just gone ahead and told my damn story. I would have just, I would have <laughs> you know, just. And that's why they should send Mo. Send Mo. Send Mo Air, AirPods, please. You really, you really like them AirPods, huh? I really do, bro. I really do. It, it. I have not seen anybody that has them, not feel, not feel that way about them. Yeah, I feel like people say that about the Apple Watch too. I've, I've heard that. I've heard that. And if you know, I'd, I'd give that a try. I've never had one before, but the AirPods, like everybody, Chilla, No Monday, my, you know, my sister, my brother, they. I just watched the progress. Like they start off with, oh, these are great. And then now always having them within arm's reach. It it changes. I think it's the functionality of it and how seamless they connect, especially if you have an Apple um, phone and Apple devices. It's just, they work so well and quickly with each other. It's Y'all are Apple cyborgs. You think so? I know. I see so. I'm gonna get you some. I'm gonna get you some. I'm gonna get you some. You're gonna you're gonna hate it. I'll make them black because whatever. And I'm, then I'm off brand poppy. I'm off brand poppy. Android phone. Yay, bruh. Whatever brand are popular. What are you talking about? Smoku Roku headphones. I am I'm off brand poppy. <laughs> I can you I what you also are is dancing. So get to the worst money you ever spent. Nigga, it's a long story, bro. It's a long. Well, yeah, not it's not that long. Time, brother. We got a podcast. Start from the top to take your time, please. Man, the worst, worst money I ever spent. Hold on, man. Let me get, let me get comfortable. <sighs> what up, people? You got joggers with zipper, with zippers on them. The worst, 
worst money I ever spent. It's not those joggers with zippers on them. Nah, these joggers fly. <laughs> yeah, they are. I'm just saying. I was trying to keep a relationship together. Ooh. Some of you I brothers out here know. Now that is a money pit. Something wrong, man. Something wrong emotionally. You gotta fix that. Talk to your lady. Give attention. How close to the how close to be God was she? Because that determines how close she is to the door determines how big of a bag you need to come out of. I'll put it like this. I'll put it like this. Uh, we've been seeing each other forever. Mm. We've been together about two months. I'll let everybody in. I'll let y'all out there figure out what that means. I'll let y'all put the on and offs together of that. <laughs> How gone she was, the story was the story will illustrate. Goner than I thought she was before I spent the money. Right? <laughs> so uh just to illustrate, and why was she gone, right? So she was going through a lot, uh personally, family. And don't get it twisted, I call some of but she had it, she was having a hard time at the time explaining what was wrong and like what she needed from me. Right? She was hit, she was hitting you with the cold shoulder, is what you're saying. Not even, not even. Like we she we would talk and hang out, and it wasn't cold, but she was just unable to articulate what was wrong and what she needed at the time, right? It was a lot more, it was a lot more emotional. It was not cold, it was overly emotional, but not co not really coherent. To me, I'm seeing that I'm I'm a I was young, but I'm also the type of person that like, let's just talk like a failure to communicate. Like, I will bring my words to the table, and this was a person yeah. that was like, you know, very good with words. So for that failure to communicate frustrated me, and I think she could tell that I started to just kind of take because she wasn't able to fully explain everything everything with a grain of salt. So I'm taking things with a grain of salt. She's thinking I'm completely writing her off, not listening, not paying no attention to her. You know what I mean? That's the dynamic. That's why, that's why, that's why she go, right? That and some other, you know, BNC reasons, but. <laughs> that I did not do. Bruh. <laughs> that there's no evidence for. <laughs> Bruh. So, her birthday coming up. I'm like, oh, you know what I could do to man? You know, I'm going to say this relationship. I'm going to throw her the best birthday party that she ever done had. Now, this is important oh, to me. Oh, Miles. <laughs> I know this story. This is important to me. It's the it still, it still hurts your feelings, dude. This is great. No, it don't hurt. It's, it's, I mean, it's past is the past, but it is. We're going to see why it's the worst money I ever spent. Because you can't spend money. You, money can't solve it. It can't, bro. Young. You can't solve it. You can't. But absolutely no hard feelings about anybody in this story, right? I need to say that so I can tell the story like the way that it needs to be told. Because everything, it's all, we all gooch mild, like with everything in the story. So let me- Money will delay the heartbreak, but it will not stop it. It won't stop it. It won't stop it. The birthday was important because the year before, I had messed up her birthday. I got too drunk. I left the birthday party. She left to find where I was at, left her own party, messed it up. That st standard, standard things. That's important. That's important to the rest of the story. So now, where am I? So this birthday, is, this birthday is gonna be the best damn birthday ever. I'm doing it. First thing, we're gonna throw you a party, all right? Your girl's gonna handle the guest list, I'm gonna handle everything else. I got this. Starting with, what you wearing? What you wearing? Take it to the store. Uh, important questions. That means you got a plan. Y'all know the stove. Y'all know the stove. It was the stove. Took it to the stove. Let her try on a couple little dresses. She took out a little white number. Mm, Hollister, going crazy with the card. <laughs> <laughs> like that don't do me like that i wasn't balling but i did what i had to hollister wasn't gonna cut it to say this relationship i did what i had to do that's the right straight to h&m <laughs> damn nigga whose side are you on god damn it whose side are you i do the, the facts <laughs> on the side of the facts My house, man it was like some akira type shit like that because the dress picked out a little white number and all i'll say about it well back then she had it for it. Now everybody can wear a white dress, but she had it for it. She yeah. had it for it. I copped the dress. The dress ran about two hundred dollars. Two. And now you can look back. You know me. You look back over my past. When has two hundred dollars ever been comfortable? It ain't, bro. It ever. That's the dress. Got the dress. Back. Fast forward to the day of the party. We all chilling. 
me up. This is this is during that time. Now we had that back and forth. I'm frustrated. She feel like I'm writing her off. She feel like I'm not paying her no attention. I'm frustrated. This she is this is before the birthday or on the birthday. This is the this is the birthday is at midnight the next day. Okay, I got this you. Is the day of the party, right? We are chilling. Our vibe is probably at like a six or a seven, right? Like we not fighting, but we not like vibing how we do. I'm chilling. Naturally, it's a birthday. Her naturally, her friends were in charge of the guest list. People from out of town start arriving. Something this nigga arrives, right? We'll call him Corbin Blue. You know who Corbin Blue is? Oh uh, no, not Corbin Blue. Corbin, Corbin Blue is the light skinned dude from High School Musical with the fluffy hair. You ever seen that? You know what I'm talking about? I know exactly who Corbin Blue is. The Corbin Blue is um What's that song that he made uh, on High School Musical 2 with the tap dancing? Mm-hmm. Fluff a dude. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. It needs to be noted that at this point, I trust this woman that I'm with completely up until this day. I trust, so I'm not, she, he comes in, old, I'm knowing old friends are coming, old friends, she, hey, whatever. Run up to him. I'm not tripping. I see, I noticed, acknowledge there's another nigga in the room, whatever, and get up, go meet this nigga. Hey, what's up, dude? I'm Corbin Blue. What up, man? <laughs> I say, I say, I say, what up? I'm Miles, man. He goes, oh, dope, Miles, man. Now I hate this nigga. Now, <laughs> now I want to stick this nigga in his throat. <laughs> oh, hey, Miles, man. Wow. Hey, man. My last name is Man, man. <laughs> Thing, I was not in the mood. I don't. I was not in the mood from that moment. Whatever. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't give no fuck about nothing else. I didn't like him for that. I didn't like him. Oh, hey, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I just hurt. Disregard him. Whatever. We chilling. Day goes by. He leaves. We go on this booze run. It's me, my girl, and her home girl. Right. Pull up to the booze spot. We picking out drinks like her home girl's gonna pay for the girls' drinks. I'm gonna get the big drinks. You know that the guys are gonna drink, and then. Yeah. My girl's going to get everything that she wants, all her favorites. Naturally. We get up to the counter. I said, step in front of her. I said, I got this. I got it all. Don't All even of it? Put those cards. I got it all. All of it? I got it all. Oh, man. This is big ball of miles right here. I never met you. Before. I never met this miles. Yes. <laughs> the game. You ain't never said those words to me. Charge it to the game. Ball of it. This is the first orange flag. This is the first flag that I should have seen. I want to buy all the alcohol. Now, she turns, now my girl turns to me. Tab? How much is this bill? Give about four, about 400. About Ooh, four. Miles, you 600 down, son. 600 down. Oh, it gets deeper. It gets deeper. It gets deeper. You're 600 down, son. A south side nigga's wallet was killed today. <laughs> ser ser serving a bad bitch in a white dress. <laughs> Bro, he is survived by his brother. <laughs> survived by his brother. It gets and deeper. Podcast co-host. It gets deeper, right? So, <laughs> so I, I I step up. I take the tab. She gave me just a little, just a thank you. And it was so Ooh, wait, 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 baby. You know so, I've never spent money like this before. It was so potential. Now, now it's important to know that this, this, this. She she got money. Money ain't a thing to her. So I'm not expecting the spending of money to impress her. But it was yeah, something yeah. about the way she said. Thank you. Like, I right, nigga, that I should have paid attention to, that I should have paid attention to, but I didn't. I'm, I'm already, what does a man do? A man provides. Yeah. I'm, provides I'm, Walter. I've taken, I'm taking it. I'm running it. Boom. Pay for the booze. Get back to the crib. Start getting ready for the party. Chilling, doing my little thing, putting decorations together, whatever. I got one more surprise. Bouquet. What? Ooh. Her favorite flowers, nigga. Her favorite flowers. Shorty like these particular flowers that I got, my nigga. I got these flowers. Uh, she shorty. Sh sh <laughs> per Persian petaled roses. Mm -hmm. It wasn't nothing fancy, but I had never bought flowers. I was not a. I'm not a. I'm not a flower buying ass nigga, right? Yeah, you know why? Cause it's expensive. And as I found out. I think it was like 160, 175 for this bouquet of flowers. It was a bouquet that you could hold. It was something that you could hold. It wasn't no little hand 
that you could throw. It was you hold. It was a bouquet. If you're keeping, if you're keeping tabs right now, Miles Xavier is exactly seven hundred dollars down on this date, and so far as Gardner, thank you. Go on, brother. I'm just keeping the audience abreast. So now, what happens is the party starts. The party getting ready to start. My girl come down, come down the stairs. Been a couple hours since I seen her. We're getting ready. She had it for it. She looked good. She looked good. Looking like white dress. Looking like milk. Looking like butter. Looking like butter. Looking like butter. But uh, but but uh, what did you just ask me? It ain't in that white dress. It ain't in that white dress. It ain't in that white dress. She said, "Get these tithers off of me." <laughs> this is the this is the this is the third mistake I made. The first mistake I made was thinking I could fix it with money. The second mistake I made was not taking that thank you as a flag. The third mistake I made was she come down the stairs. She looked great, but I'm thinking, but uh. <laughs> All that the money I spent early on. You can't say anything about that, dude. Not on a birthday. I didn't say anything, but I also I also must have shown some type of reaction that wasn't, yo, you look drool face. Yeah, I'm, you didn't cry, you didn't cry at the altar. So from that interaction, right over the next thirty minutes, our vibe goes from like a six or seven to like a three, right? Ooh, that, that's a quick dissension there. And now that's a quick dissension there snakes on the plane. <laughs> so quick this, dissension. this dissension is brought to you by alcohol. Everybody, <laughs> everybody is getting drunk. How much alcohol did I buy? Four hundred dollars worth, nigga. We are turnt. We everybody is getting lit. People start arriving to the party. Corbin Blue pulls up to the party. Okay. Ooh. Whatever, nigga. Whatever. Hey. Is Corbin Blue wearing that white dress. Hey, nigga. <laughs> I wish, dude. I'm funding this bitch. Libations, whatever. But I'm trying to upgrade this three to like a little four five. You know what I'm saying? What? How, how you doing? How's your birthday? Whatever. I'm trying to rock with her. She ducking me in this party, right? Don't want to talk to me. Um, whatever. That's cool. Corbin Blue nigga arrives, throws arm around him in a crazy hug. You know the crazy hug. You know the crazy hug. Oh, wait, she her feet off the ground. I don't think her feet came off, but her arms around his neck. That's what I saw. That's what my eyes was. Don't That's baby, I'm, don't put don't put your arms around another nigga neck, baby. Don't do that. Not in front, not in front of me. So not I got in front. Uh, if you don't if you don't grab that dude under the armpits, I swear. So I'm like, I'm with I'm with the okay. Okay. Mm, stank face. Okay. No, I'm just internally, I'm okay. Now I'm now now my brain has reverted to okay. You know what? She's not fucking with me. She's clearly pissed off, but I've put on this party. If I can just let the party go, because remember, I messed up the last birthday. So there's one. So there's and what did I do? I left. So there's one thing I can't do is leave, right? You just have to watch your hug Corbin Blue all diet. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, bro. So she, so she hug him. I'm, I, I see that. Note it. I got the flowers. So I'm gonna give her at midnight when it's her birthday. That's the last thing I gotta do, and then I'm then I'm done. Whatever, right? I'm good. Done what I had to do. Try to talk to her a couple more times. She ducking me in a party. Woo woo. Nigga, everybody in the club getting more tipsy. I'm drinking, she's drinking, Corbin Blue's drinking. Everybody's drinking. <laughs> I'm saying, all that, right. was a J, that was a Jaquan. <laughs> all right, she disappears, right? Cool, whatever. Goes back upstairs right before right before midnight. I figure she's getting ready for her little surprise. I go get the flowers, boom. She comes back down the stairs in the white dress. No. Um, what you mean, no, I'm... She put it on. No, no, no. For no for dramatic effect. But no, as in yes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, white dress. I'm this night is looking. Hey, up. I'm ad living over here, Pimp. Don't look at no, me. I feel, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I got you. She in a white dress, right? So I'm okay. <laughs> she went and put it on. Maybe we done, you know, whatever, whatever. She comes down the stairs. I take her hand, put her up on the little island. Hey y'all, cut the music off. Give my little speech. <laughs> This woman right here, the hell us all down. If you didn't hear, she'd have held you down. I know it. We all been drunk. Got lost. Who found you? Probably her. You. Probably her. You know what I'm saying? Hey. You led the happy birthday. Hold it down. Song. Everything to everybody, right? Hold it down. Give her the flowers. She takes the bouquet, but she not. I'm, I'm giving this. I'm speeching, nigga. I am 
Denzel, You're and this is my woman, and I will do whatever it takes. I'm getting it. She's, yeah, whatever, kind of like twerking, not even really paying attention to me. So I see what's going on. I'm, this is the last thing I got to do. Let me, let me wrap it up. Let me wrap it up. Thank y'all all for coming. This has been a beautiful celebration. Cut the music back on. Whatever. She puts the flowers down, gets off the table. I try to talk to her, dips off, runs over to this Corbin Blue nigga. Now, she not on him physically, but if you look, you can tell she on Emotionally. <laughs> yeah, not well, emotionally, but like, if you look over there, she'll be like, oh, she it's, on him without her. Oh, the attention is there. The attention is, the attention is there. So she, she, she's, so she's, on, she's on him like that. Um, all right, whatever. My nigga, this nigga, this nigga is, he... He Corbin Blue. He not with the shit. He not really. So he kind of even know. He look at me he's like smooth with the crossover yeah. like he that. Might, he might be smooth, whatever. But he he's not like trying to be, you know, whatever. He looks at me like, you know what I mean? Hey man, what's going on here? So I say, I done done the flower thing. I done give her the gift. I done give it a. I done done it all. The party's lit. I'm gonna go outside and have a smoke, man. I'm gonna just cool off because if I can just. Not leave. Now hold on. Yeah, it's mosquito. I'll be all right. Go outside and have a smoke and calm down a little bit. Walked inside. When I walk inside, what do I see? I see this Corbin Blue nigga. Look at me. Sneak away from my lady in the dress that I bought. <laughs> You get heated up just thinking about it. He make his way over to me with a glass of the liquor that I bought. Bombay, goddamn, walk over to me. Hey, bro, girl, what's up? Girls trying to throw a little thing. And I looked at Corbin Blue in his face, and I looked at that Bombay that I bought, and I looked at that dress that I bought, and I said, "Nigga, this is the worst goddamn money that I have ever spent in my entire life." <laughs> The worst. <laughs> Relationship is over. The worst money I've ever spent in my life. This is the worst money I've ever spent in my life. Oh, bro. That's hilarious. I was, going to, I was going to say a portable George Foreman girl, but damn, bro. That just... Don't do it, kids. Don't do it. It's not money, man. If it ain't working, not. If you oh, if you grown, if you grown and you got a house, it might be the money. But if you're young, y'all just messing around, man. She just needs some attention, bro. Not the money. She just needs some attention. You know what, Miles? Now that we're speaking about the worst money ever sp ever spent, you know, we're talking about getting finessed. I think <laughs> I too. <laughs> did I get finessed? Is that what I got? You did. You did indeed. And and bro. So, and I tell you the story and I don't know if I've ever told you the story in like detail before, but yeah. like, I'll, I'll tell it to you, right? Definitely by far the worst money I've ever spent. Excuse what's me. the figure, what's the, what's the figure you have in your mind? Uh, but I might know this story though. It does. You do know the story, but just, just tell me what the figure that you have in your mind is. 20, just give me a number. 2,200. Nah. Okay, 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 okay. But boom. So we I I I'm in Venezuela at this time, right? I'm in high school. Um first or second year in university. I'm in Venezuela. I get operation on my legs, right? I get on my feet. I get reconstructive operation on my feet. Mind you, my family lives in Venezuela at the time. I'm studying in the University of Champagne at the time. I fly back for a weekend. This is the end of my freshman year going into my sophomore year. I'm having, you know, no, I'm lying. This was the summer of my freshman year. Summer of my freshman year, right? So the first break that we're now headed back into, we're now headed back into the second quarter, the second semester. Anyways, I have feet, feet reconstructive surgery, um, three operations on each foot, in, on each foot, they, my feet were all the way messed up. So it's an intensive surgery, so much so that I could not walk. So I was bedridden. And this is important because something happens when you're bedridden for a very long time and you have access to internet and no one else around you, you just start finding things. You just look in and you find it. Anyways, I'm bedridden. I got, I had two, I had a, a, 
a metal piece st sticking out of each of my foot. A metal piece like that was like the size of the length of a finger sticking mm. out, like protruding out in order to keep my my feet straight. Right. So Polo take take. Any, put, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Pimpin, listen, I'll cancel this podcast right hey, now. Hey, don't, don't worry about my ad libs. Let me ad lib. <laughs> <laughs> I call you Tink Tink, Sim Sim. <laughs> yes. Um, this is what we so, mean by live. This is what we mean by live, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's live. Um, so, all right, cool. So, I'm sitting in bed. Um, at this time, going back into the university, going back to school, I thought to myself, hey, man, listen, I really need, um, I really need a car. You know what I mean? My feet are messed up. It's going to be hard for me to walk. Um, and I need a car, you know, just to move around Champagne and everything. It's a middle of nowhere school. You know how these things go. Um, so I started looking online. And at this particular point in time, my, everyone in the household had, my mother had a funeral to go to, father had business to travel. So I'm alone in this house. This is important to realize that I am alone in this house recovering from this foot surgery. I ain't doing nothing but being online and playing video games. That's it. That's it, right? And the mind is not meant to be that way on these painkiller drugs, e-mobile, you know, all of that. So I start, I start searching for cars to look for. I find- Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to take all the factors that he just mentioned into account. <sighs> yes, both for his mental state, but can you imagine what this nigga's about to tell us happened if all those <laughs> continue? Carson, <laughs> while on drugs alone, with no feet, go, bruh. So I find a, uh, I find a few cars, right? The first car I find is the old Ford Fusion, the long body Ford Fusion, right? Mm. I find a long body Ford Fusion. I go, okay, that's interesting. I find a Jeep, right? A, a slightly older Jeep, but a Jeep nonetheless lovely car I thought you know this this might be the one and then i found a white mustang mm. right now in this price range because this is a a diverse group of cars what price range would you at least assume these cars to average just freestyling off the top of your head used used like four or five grand four or five okay, grand. perfect perfect right the Mustang was slight. It was the newer edition at the time, though, right? Six, so seven, these man. two, these two, I'm looking at it like, you know what? These two are are decent, right? But this used Mustang. Now, this particular used Mustang was going for about six grand. Newer version. That's all right. That's about right. Now, if you look at on that same, if you look up that same car and search for that car only. There's no car they, that version is doesn't come at that low of a price range. They all started at twelve and thirteen up. Mm. That model. Mm. So what? I, what? What do I think to myself? It's the deal of our deals. This is a bargain. <laughs> what? What, bro? I'm about to hop out with these brand new feet of mine in a white Mustang in 2012, bro. That's important. When you go from no feet to back to the street. You gotta come with heat. That's a, you gotta you gotta come with heat. Oh, I was not gonna walk again, bro. I was not gonna walk again. So I think about it. I take the time. I email these these. I email whoever. Right. The lady starts. Hey, listen. I the the Mustang lady. Hey, listen. Um, my husband's in the military. He just died. I just want to sell all this shit ASAP and get it out of my way. So I'm doing it at a discount. I don't care about anything else. You send money over, the car is yours. I said, ma'am, that's a sad-ass story. That's a very sad story, ma'am. And matter of fact, I want to help you <laughs> with this, actually. Now it's turned into be helping her. I want, you to, I want you to take a moment because not that, we don't, not that we don't show enough Kendrick love on this podcast, but there's an intro where Kendrick spots a woman. Uh. A blind a woman. Blind woman. <laughs> <laughs> Who looked like she had lost something. And he said, hello, ma'am. May I help you? you find it. <laughs> and she said, no. You, yes, you have lost something. Yeah. We'll finish. You have lost. We'll finish that poem <laughs> after you finish this story. 
So I go, yes, ma'am. You know what? I want to help this lady. Now I call my banker and I go, yo, she says wire transfer. Right. So we, we've been talking for a while now. She says, listen, I can get this car in a truck for you and send it to wherever it is going to be at. But I need you to pay me either through wire transfer or through money grab. Now you see now this particular point in time, I'm green behind the ears, right? But never mind. I think to myself, this is fair. I call my banker. I go, banker, I need you to send this money through wire transfer. He says to me, hey, pimp, wouldn't do it. <laughs> wouldn't recommend it. He says, I wouldn't do it, bro. I go, hey, man, stop asking me these questions. He goes, hey, bro, look, let me tell you something about a wire transfer. If I click send on this, there's no getting it back. You understand that, right? Unless... The person on the other end is gone. He says, why don't you wait? Just wait until your little tink tink legs are back. You'll go see it. It ain't going nowhere. I go, bro, this is a brand new. This is a damn near new. Dude, I remember how many kilometers I had on it. 1,200 kilometers, dude. That's about 600 miles was on this car. You know, how many, miles? You know how many miles that is in tink tink miles? That's a lot of miles, nigga. <laughs> so, uh, boom. That's a lot of travel, go, dude. I go, dude, don't ask me questions like that. Send that money, please. <laughs> ASAP. He goes, all right, cool. He sends it. The second he sends it and I get that confirmation, immediately in my head, I think to myself, oh, what am I doing? I go online to go email the lady. You know, she, I go, hey, the money's been sent. Just let me know what's up. Keeps quiet. Hey, lady, the money been sent. Give me posting. I go back. Go back to look at the, the ad. Ad, gone. I go back to look at an email. I'm looking at the last email she sent. As I'm looking <laughs> at the last email she sent, I click on it. I try to write. The email's been blocked. I think to myself, this is the worst goddamn money I ever spent in my entire life, dude. This has got to be the worst money I ever spent in my entire life. You hate to see it. You hate to see hate it. To see it. You hate, hate to see a good man go down. Oh, man, that's tough. Oh. <laughs> what do you think they thought on the other end of that transaction? Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, see him, see him. Got some money in this motherfucker. Fuck that little Bro, eighteen. Have not been scammed since. Have not been scammed since. That, oh. that, that, that situation changed my entire life. Our stories have that in common, nigga. I ain't bought flowers for nobody since that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, bro, listen. We done gave these people too much sauce, bro. We done took you from Nigeria, bro. politics, spirituality, um, capitalism, and now we're here giving you these, these, these fire stories, man. I, I, I think, I, I think, I think we done the cup done runneth over on this episode for sure. We done, we done, done it all. None of these done done could done them off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how we ended it on that. That was a that was a good note. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Love doing this thing with you. Love doing this. Likewise. Uh, and to y'all out there, we know. We know. Y'all got too many options when it comes to listening to a podcast, but that's why we appreciate y'all rocking with all the way live. Live in the sense that we are celebrating life. Live in the sense that we are celebrating black life. Black stories, which y'all just heard, was oral history. You dig me? We are telling you facts. This is life. This is culture. This is real stuff that happened to shape the gentleman that you see before you. We had to take some L's. Had to take some lumps to get here. You know what I'm saying? To be mm -hmm. in the place. To be able to tell y'all that at this point, to everybody, even the car money thieves, <laughs> everybody that has contributed to a story that has built me, at least, and I feel like you feel the sentiment as well to this point. Mm -hmm. It is peace. It is love. And that's what we bring to our audience. It is peace. It is love. And like that, we gone. We out.